start recording. So, volunteer marshals, volunteer marshals, guys. I need the three inside cones for sure. At least the three inside cones. What's wrong, Kevin? I need some marshals, guys. I need some marshals. I need a marshal in the middle, guys. That's why we need some marshals here. Thank you, Andrew. I appreciate it. Thank you. If you just stand on the cone, you won't block anything, and then you stay away from the crossover so you don't get hit by anything. One more, a couple more marshals, guys. I need some marshals, or we can't get this program going, and you can't go home. So I need some marshals. White lightning. Thank you, Tristan. I appreciate it. And Robert, I appreciate it. That's enough marshals. We're good. We need one here and one on the pole there. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, Tristan. I appreciate it. Uh, back straight's closed. Back straight's closed. The dots are on the straightaway here. First dot right here is number one. So <laughs> that's a Jim Silva impersonation. That was awesome. In the nine is Eric Dank. In the eight, Craig Nelson. In the seven, Kevin Sathry. In the six, Alan Drebby. In the five, Chris Wright. In the four, Stephen Antney. In the two, Paul Weir. And our pole position BQ is Dan Collinsworth. Just get him as close to those dots as you can, guys, as close to the dots. All right. Everybody got them where you want them? All right, guys. Marshals, watch your spots. Drivers, keep it clean at least through the first corners, and let's get us some racing going. I will take the top two drivers from this race into the A main. We're going live in less than five. Dan Collinsworth leading us out in that factory x-ray ride, followed by Paul Weir and his Losi. Stephen Antley in the three. Oh, rough going into the pipe. He's going to lose a couple spots after that. And then a slight bobble after the crossover. We need some Marshall and the crossover. Marshall, there we go. Dan Collins, we're trying to check out. He's got a couple turn lead now over Paul Weir, looks like, coming in the two. Wait, why is it not getting your laps, Dan? We should, Dan is in the lead, so I will keep an eye on that. Oh, did he push? Oh, maybe we can't start there. I got gotcha. you. Don't worry about the score, guys. We, if you go too wide, you hit the stripe at the uh, start of the race, so. That's the correct order. All right, now we are now we're cooking with butter. So I don't know where they want us to start now because that's pretty tough. Two minutes in, three minutes to go. Dan Collinsworth out front on a 14-5 14 five, 14 five minute pace, followed by Chris Wright, Paul Weir, and Alan Drebby. Now Alan Drebby moving up into the three. Oh, no, he's still in the four. Sorry about that. Two and a half down, two and a half to go. Dan Collinsworth still out front. He's got a pretty good lead there on Chris Wright. It's about a turn or so. 
then Paul Weir, Alan Drebby, Kevin Sathry. Caution, caution. There we go. Thank you, Marshall. Thank you. Dan Collins, with the leader, just passing the line, goes over the crossover. Now into the little double. Into the switchback area, nice and smooth. Dan with that factory x-ray ride. Coming down the straight, over the table top. Two minutes left. Into the triple. Double singles out. Over the little humps. Over the crossover. Nice smooth lap out of Dan Collinsworth there. 19-1 is his fast lap of the race. Chris Wright with a 19-2. Paul Weir with a 19-7. And Kevin Sathry with a 19-3. We're three and a half down, one and a half to go. Your leader is Dan Collinsworth. He's got about a three and a half second lead over Chris Wright. Now it's up to 4.3. Paul Weir in the three. He's three seconds back of the second place car. Kevin Sathry in the four, four and, four and a half back from Paul. We got a minute left, a minute left, guys. Dan Collinsworth with about a four second lead. If he, as long as he keeps the rubber down, he's going to be okay going into that A main. Followed by Chris Wright. He's 5.5 back. Paul Weir chopping at that lead. It's down to 2.9 seconds. Kevin Sathry in the One four with 4.7 seconds behind Paul. Everybody pretty much spaced out. That's all it takes is one mistake to change this all up. We got less than a minute to go. 45 seconds. 45 seconds. Is it dead, Paul? Caution going into the straight or in the start finish. We got 30 seconds to go, 30 seconds to go. Dan leading out with a 15.504 pace. His lead now is up to six seconds over Chris Wright, who's in the two in a solid bump position because he's up by about nine seconds over Kevin Sathry. Paul Weir with a bad, bad last lap there had dropped to the four, but now he's back to the three, trying to make a last second charge. There's 12 seconds left, 12 seconds left, guys. Chris Wright in the two, six seconds back. Paul Weir about 11 seconds back from him. He's going to need a major problem from Chris Wright. That is time. Racing to the line. Kevin Sathry, you're done in the three. Paul Weir, you're done in the four. Dan Collinsworth with the win. You are done. Eric Dink, you're done. Alan Drebby, Chris Wright in the two, bumping up to the A. You are done. Stephen Antony, you are done. Marshals, please blow off your areas. The race is completed. So Dan and Chris, you're both bumping up. That race is number four. So you have a little bit of time to uh, get your tires done and everything like that. Next up is our novice A main race. That's Mike Tallis, Nicholas Finch, Kevin Finland, Stanford Bunce, Kyle Bunts and Sophia Kaker, Kaker, I can't remember how to say her name, but Sophia, it's her very first night here, gentlemen, and she's been driving real smooth, very proud of the young lady, showing out for her first time here. All right, guys. We should have all our marshal spots covered, all our marshal spots covered. I need all those drivers back out to the track. Minus Dan and Chris, I, I don't believe I need all nine. So if. Mike Tallis. All right, roll them out, check them in, guys. Roll them out, check them in. Don't Kyle break Bunce. them in warm up and don't hit my marshals that are getting to their spots, guys. Kevin Finland. All right, we have two open marshal spots over here. All right. So either, yeah, he, they're in front of the wall. We're good. No, I think we're we're good on marshals. All right, guys.
Okay, guys, backstreet's closed. Backstreet's closed. We're trying to decide if we should start in another spot or this is good. Yeah. Try to keep it to the inside of the lane. Try not to go up on the hill because it's tripping the start finish. So line them up on the dots. In the six spot is Sophia. In the five is Kyle Bunce. In the four is Stanford Bunce. In the three, Kevin Finland. In the two, Nicholas Finch. And in the one is Mike Tallis. So there you go. Right there is good, Nick. All right. Nick with the Kyosho buggy. That's that's a rare thing. Very cool. All right. Once Sophia's all set, we'll get her ready. All right, guys, this is heads up. You are now racing. Try to keep it clean. Don't don't press her anything before the first couple turns. After that, let her rip. We're going live in, in less than five. Mike Tallis leading us out with that. Oh, sends it into the wall. Rough first lap there. We'll cut Marshall, Marshall. Well, it looks like everybody's getting caught up here. All right. Looks like Mike, after that rough start, back into the second spot. And Kevin looks to be out in the lead there, I believe, in his new buggy. I'm not used to seeing him in a buggy. Go, go, start, finish line. Need a marshal, marshal, marshal. It is clear. Mike Tallis leading us out. Followed by Stanford Bunce, Kyle Bunce, Nicholas Finch, and Kevin Finland. Keep it clean, guys. Keep it clean. Marshall, right behind you, Mike. Marshall after the triple. Marshall after the crossover and before. They are both clear. Mike Tallis leading us out. He's on a 15-501 pace. He also has a hot lap of the race with a 21-4. He's got that techno four-wheel four drive just hauling around there. Baby blue paint job, white wheels. And second, we got Nicholas Finch. He's driving the Kyosho blue buggy with the yellow wheels. Caution after the crossover. We are good. Then we got Kevin Finlan back up into the three, followed by Stanford Bunce and then Kyle Bunce. The brothers are going at it there. They're fighting tooth and nail here. Pretty even over the triple. Mike with the four wheel almost clears the triple. Two minutes down, three minutes to go. Caution after the crossover. Caution after the crossover. Kevin Finland now into the two with that low C ride. He's got the yellow body and or orange body and yellow wheels. But Mike Tallis checking out. He's got about a, a lap lead over Kevin. He's got that techno. He's getting you real used to throwing that techno around. Oh, Nicholas out early. Kevin and Nicholas, both, both newer drivers to the track. Both getting better. Caution after the tabletop. Caution after the tabletop. Three minutes down, two minutes to go. Two Mike Tallis out front, followed by Kyle Bunce now, and then Kevin Finland and Stanford Bunce. Two through, two through four close together, two and three close together. Good racing out of Kevin Finland and Kyle Bunce. Kyle with the blue buggy. And then Kevin with the orange low C buggy just going over the crossover. Kyle now with a couple turn lead. Kevin trying to overdrive, trying to catch him. If he just drives smooth, he'll do it quicker. One and a half to go, guys. One and a half to go. 
Mike Tallis out front, 14-5 flat, five flat pace, followed by Kyle Bunce, who has a 1.7 lead over Kevin Finland for that two spot. And then it's Stanford Bunce and Nicholas Finch out early. One minute left. Next up is our 21-5 A main, our 21-5 A main. We've got 45 seconds left, 45 seconds left. Mike sending it on the triple, casing it though. I love all those technos jump. Oh, Nick, Nicholas, wait till after the race, bud. Wait till after the race. Yeah, you can't. You can't be walking around the track like that, bud. You gotta stand on a cone while it's racing. Ay, ay, ay. 15 seconds left. Mike Tallis in the lead. Kyle Bunce in the two. Kevin Finland in the three. Caution after the crossover. Caution in the triple. Caution right behind you, Mike. Right behind you. There we go. That is time. Kyle Bunce, you're done. Sophia, you're done. Mike Tallis, you're done. Kevin Finley, Stanford, and Nicholas out early. We need Kevin and Stanford to finish. Two orange buggies. Kevin, you're done. And Stanford, you are done. That is a race. Mike Tallis taking the win. 14 502. Then Kyle Bunce, Kevin Finley, and Stanford Bunce. The race is completed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hold your cars, guys. Hold your cars. Caution in the triple. We got a car flipped over in the triple. I will need a couple drivers out here to marshal for me and a couple volunteer drivers. Thank you, Jimmy. I appreciate it. All right, boys, you can roll them out, check them in. Don't hit any. Um, the possum. Don't Stephen hit Anthony. any of the guys Robert walking Morgan. around the track here, guys. Russ Beringer. Chad Mara. Mike Collar. Brian Davis. Caution after the crossover. Caution after the crossover. One minute to the start of the race. I need... I don't think I need anybody on the cone number one, but I do need somebody on cone number five. Five seconds to the start of the race. If I can have a volunteer get on cone number five for me. Oh, wait. Sophia needs to come out. Sophia. 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 Could you get to cone number five for me? You have to marshal for me. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Back straight is closed, guys. Back straight is closed. If you can see the dots, that's what we're going to be lining up on. seconds to the start of the race. In the eight is Chad Mara. In the seven, Brian Davis. In the six, Russ Bring Beringer. Less than five. I'm terrible. Uh, in the five is Eric. In the four is Lyle Lamb. In the three, Mike Keller. In the two is Stephen Antony. And in the one, our TQ pole setter is Robert Morgan. You're in the three, Mike. Try and keep it inside so you don't trigger the start finish for me, guys. All right. Marshall's ready. Watch your areas, not the race. Watch your areas. We're going live in less than five. Keep it clean, guys. Keep it clean. First couple of corners. Come on. Caution after the triple. People will be getting loose, so you might want to give a little bit of room. Caution after the crossover. Caution in the double. Caution in the double. Double. 
Caution in the switchback. There we go. There we go, guys. Let's get through. Work together. Work together. There we go. Come on, Mike. Get it straight. Let's go. You're one of the faster guys. Let's go, Mike. Caution in the in the switch back. Work together, guys. It's going to be loose over there. Work together. People are going to be getting loose. Two of our faster guys just got into each other. Mike Keller and Stephen Anthony. Guys got to realize how slippery this track is. You can't be flooring it like that. All right, we got a minute in, three to go, four to go. Steven, uh, see, Steven's not in the lead. Jesus, all these guys, they're, this isn't right. <laughs> Robert Morgan is out in the lead. That is the correct running order. Sorry, guys. we got to set up a different place to start. <laughs> um, Robert Morgan out in the lead. Lyle Lamb in the two. Brian Davis in the three. Mike Caller. Now Eric Frere moving up in the f into the five. Russ into the six. Steven in the seven. And Chad Mara in the eight. Two and a half down, two and a half to go, guys. Two and a half down, two and a half to go. Robert Morgan just passing the start finish line. Caution in the caution in the crossover. Caution in the crossover. Caution in the crossover. Holy cow, guys. I don't know how many times you need me to say it. Holy cow. Jesus. Robert still out left. front, followed by Lyle Lamb. He's got a seven and a half second lead. The Mike Caller moving up after that rough start. He's he's behind number two by 11 seconds, but he's slowly catching him. Well, Robert keeping it smooth. We got one and a half to go. One and a half to go. Robert Morgan on a 14.508 pace. Followed by Lyle Lamb, Mike Caller, and Brian Davis in the four. Caution in the crossover. Caution in the crossover. It is clear. Caution in the crossover. Caution in the crossover. Thank you, guys. Thank you for slowing down that time. We have a minute 15 left. Minute 15 left. Robert Morgan still in the lead. Followed by Lyle Lamb, seven and... A half seconds back, the Mike Caller, Eric Farrar, and Brian Davis. Caution in the triple, caution in the triple. It is clear. One minute left. You heard him. One minute left in the race, guys. One minute left in the race. We have we have Robert Morgan checking out. Eight second lead over Lyle Lamb. Then Mike Caller, Eric Ferrer, Ferrer yeah. uh, Brian Davis, Russ Berenger, and Chad Mara. Caution in the crossover, caution in the crossover. Robert with a little bit of a mistake, 30 seconds left. It said he had a seven second lead on him, but after that little bobble on the near the crossover, getting into some back markers. 15 seconds left, 15 seconds left. We'll see the lead as Lyle comes across the line. He's got it down to 4.5 seconds. Three, two, and one. Race him to the line, guys. Race him to the line. Race him to the line. Robert Morgan, you're done with the win. Mike Caller, you're done. Russ Bringer, Berenger, I'm sorry, you're done. Stephen Anthony, you're done. Lyle Lamb, you're done in the two. Nice run. Chad Meyer, you're done. Brian Davis. 
And Eric, you are done. That is a race. Robert Morgan taking the win, followed by Lyle Lamb, Mike Caller, and Eric. The race is completed. Next up is our 17-5A main. All right, man. Hey, we'll come back on the practice day and uh, oh yeah, get some practice in. She's a good driver, dude. Oh, there are. I got some if you were looking for some. So yeah, yeah, I got uh, X-ray cars and tech. Yeah, there you go. Great night. All right, guys, you can roll them out and check them in. Roll them out and check them in. Ryan Collar, Dan Collinsworth, Ryan Prince, Mike Coco, Andrew Manicosi, Jimmy Leff, Aaron Brown, Randy Lockin, Buzz Driver. One minute to the start of the race. Forty five seconds to the start of the race. Thirty seconds to the start of the race. Fifteen seconds to the start of the race. Less than five. Chris, Chris, right? Oh, he left? All right, never mind then. All right, all right. Let's line them up. In the nine, Dan Collinsworth. In the eight, Andrew Minakasi. In the seven, James Leftner. In the six, Mike Cocott. In the five, Ryan Prince. In the four, Aaron Brown. In the three, Randy Lockin. In the two, James Galton. And in the one, our pole setter and TQ, Ryan Keller. All right, marshals. Why am I missing a marshal? I should have every spot covered. Where are my drivers from the last race? Steven, get number five for me. Number five, right here. All right, guys. Marshals, watch your areas. Drivers, we're going live in less than five. Keep it clean, boys. Keep it clean. Nice start, boys. Nice job. Nice job. Ryan Keller leading us out with that associated ride, followed by James Gallatin, Randy Locken in the Losi, lo Aaron Brown in the Yoki Yokomo factory ride. 
Everybody making the crossover? No, we didn't. Oh my goodness, I need a marshal there. Ugh. I'm sorry guys, I didn't see that spot. Caution after the crossover is clear. Call. Work together, guys. Don't drive through them, Ryan. Don't drive through them. Caution after the crossover. It is clear. Randy Locken leading us out on a 17-5-11 pace, followed by James Galton and Ryan Cowler. Caution in the switchback, guys. Caution in the switchback. Let them get to you. Get off the throttle there. Let them get to you. Caution in the switch. Caution going on the straight. Caution going on the straight. Randy Locken still leading us out. James Galton in the two. Ryan Keller in the three. Caution after the after the crossover. Caution after the crossover. Caution in the, the double. Caution in the double. Watch it, guys. Try and work together. Caution going into the switchback. Oof, this is something. We got some we got some racing going on. Fast lap of the race so far. James Galton with a 18-6, followed by a couple 19 flats out of Randy Locken and Ryan Caller. Two down, three to go, two down, three to go. Randy still Randy going back to the lead. James in the two. Ryan Caller in the three. Let's see if we can find our leader. There he, there he is over the tabletop. Caution going into the double caution. It is clear. Randy Locking going into the double, trying to put some space on second place James Gallatin. Last time at the line, he had a 2.2 lead. James now coming into the tabletop. Randy over the triple. James over the triple. Let's see what the lead is this time around. 2.4, that's .3. James Gallatin trying to chop that tree down, trying to Get back to the lead. Two and a half down, two and a half to go. 16.503 pace for Randy. He's still in the lead. Caution after the crossover. Caution after the crossover. Caution. Oh, our. Oh, whoa. Everything cleared out. Three two down, two to go. Three down, two to go. Randy Locken still out front. James Gallatin right there with him. Oh, Randy gets a little loose. Is that Randy? Triple. James Gallatin now to the lead by .7. The two, first and second going through the switchback area. Coming onto the straight. Looks like James had some jump. Got a little bit away from Randy. Now they both head into the triple. They're both coming out of the triple. To the straight. James got a little bit of gap on him. 1.3 seconds. Then Ryan Prince in the three is about 10 seconds back of Randy. So we're going to focus on the top two. James coming down the straightaway. Randy right behind him. Both entering the triple. Randy making up some time. He's made up quite a bit of time. They both in the 18 second range. Randy really closing One the gap left. after the crossover. Dan, you got first and second coming right up on you. You know what to do. They're both coming through. They're both coming through the triple. James Galton still out front, followed by Randy Locken. The lead now to point three. They both are entering the double. Leffler, could there we go. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. Dan, you still got first and second right behind you. Mike, you got them right in front. They're both entering the triple. All within a second of each other. Randy getting a little loose. James getting a little loose. The lead is now .6. They both enter the double. Randy trying to nose his way outside. James shutting the door. They're both nose to tail going through the going through the straightaway. Now both into the triple. Randy looking to the inside. James making a mistake. I couldn't see. So Randy locking to the front. That is time. Race him to the line. Ryan Prince, you're done. Aaron Brown, you're done. Andrew Minicosi, you're done. Randy Locken, you're done with the win. James Galton, you're done in the two. 
James Leffler, you're done. Mike Cocott. And, Ran and Ryan was out early with some technical difficulties. Randy takes home the win with that Losi ride with a 16 5 12, followed by James Galton and Ryan Prince. The race is completed. All right, guys, roll them out and check them in. Roll them out and check them in. Tyler Franklin, Mike Larson, Alan Dreeby, Tristan Mara. One minute to the start of the race. Bill Klein's not running this one. Bill Klein? No, he broke. Never mind. 45 seconds to the start of the race. I need all my drivers from that last race out here to marshal. 30 seconds all to the start drivers. of the race. All right, back straight's closed, back straight's closed. to the start of the race. Let's line them up. Less than five. Yeah, you're also, you're also close. We can start right here. So in the one, we will have Alan Drebby. In the two, Tristan Mara. In the three, Mike Larson, and in the four, Tyler Franklin. Try to move it up as close as possible. All right. Marshals, watch your area. Watch your area. Drivers, we're going live in less than five. Caution in the triple, caution in the triple. Looks like we got Tyler Franklin out to the front in the truck class and Alan Drebby still holding the front for the four wheel drive. Our next race up is our four-wheel drive experts and two-wheel drive mod. I will need some volunteer marshals after this race. I will need some volunteer marshals. Make sure we have every spot covered for the next, for our last race in the mains. One minute down, four minutes to go. Tyler Franklin still out front in the truck class. He's on a 14, 5, 19 pace. Then Mike Larson. Then we have Alan Drebby leading out the four-wheel drive and Tristan Mara behind him. Alan Drebby driving the gold and purple techno ride with the Exotech body. He's got the yellow wheels. His car is one of the nicer looking cars around here with the purple, um, purple screws and flim flams. He looks fan. It looks it's a pretty dope ride over there in the in the pits. 
But uh, Tyler still out front. I don't know why it is saying Mike is out front, but um, it shouldn't say that. Mike should be up by about a lap. Hmm. Hmm. Two and a half down, two and a half to go. Tyler Franklin still out front by about a half a lap. Mike Larson in the two. Then we have Alan Drebby leading out the four-wheel drives. He's on a 16, 5, 10 pace, followed by Tristan Meyer with a 15, 5, 13 pace. Two minutes left. You heard him. Three down, two minutes to go. Mike, Tyler Franklin leading out the truck class on a 15, 5, 17, followed by Mike Larson. And then Alan Drebby leading out the four-wheel drive sportsman class with a 16, 5, 12, now down to a 16, 5, 10. And then Tristan Meyer behind him with a, on a 14, 5 flat. That's correct running order. Tyler making a little bobble coming to onto the start finish line, but makes it over that crossover. He's got about a half lap lead on Mike Larson. One minute left. About 10 seconds on this format. Crossover, watch the crossover. It is clear. Alan Drebby leading out the four-wheel drive. He's on a 16 lap, 517 pace. Caution in the triple. It is clear. Tristan not doing too bad for his first time in sportsman four-wheel drive. We just didn't have a big class of them tonight. Normally we do. I'm surprised we didn't have more drivers out here for the new layout. We got 15 seconds left to go, guys. 15 seconds left to go. Uh, you all will be racing to the line. That is time. That is time. Alan, you are done with a 15.503. Tristan, you are done with a 14.506. Mike, you're done, and Tyler, you are done. That is a race. The race is completed. Ryan Collar. Our final race of the evening, 13-5 four-wheel drive experts and our two-wheel drive mods. I will need three volunteer marshals at least, guys, for this race to get it done and get out of here. At least three marshals. You guys can roll them out and check them in. Just watch out for oncoming marshals because I need some. Yeah, guys, I will need at least three volunteer marshals. Aaron Brown. So we can get out of here. One minute to the start of the race. Thank you. Kevin Gatton. 
I got Matthew out here to help me. I just need a couple more. 45 seconds to the start of the race. Ryan Prince. Caution after the triple. Thank you, Tristan. All right, looks like we got, we are good to go. So back straight is closed. Back straight is closed. We'll start you on uh, regular dots here since we don't have too many behind. <laughs> Kevin, did you get around? Say three. White lightning. I was just I was just making sure you got your time. I didn't want to jip you. So in the one we have Aaron Brown, in the two Brian Prince, in the three Kevin Sathry, in the four Ryan Keller, and in the five Kevin Gatton. Try and go inside as much as you can, Kevin. I don't know if it's gonna get you. All right, Marshalls, watch your area. Drivers, we're going live in less than five. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Ryan Prince trying to take it on the first corner. Wouldn't you know, the Prince of Wednesday nights trying to keep his crown here. Aaron Brown leading us out in the Yokomo ride, followed by Ryan Prince as an associated. Caution in the switchback area. Caution in the switchback. Aaron with a 17-7 first lap, trying to just freaking run away with this thing. That's awesome first lap. Followed by Ryan Prince and Kevin Sathry. And then in our two-wheel drive, we got Ryan Keller out front of Kevin Gatton. Aaron Brown's really got that Yokomo hooked up and honking. 17-4. Caution after the tabletop is clear. Ryan Cal across the line for the two-wheel drive. He's on an 18 lap, 515 pace. Whoa, that did not sound good. But they are still going. 115 in, 345 to go. Aaron Brown out front by five seconds, followed by Ryan Prince, and he's got five seconds on Kevin Sathry. All these four wheels are hooked up and honking. Ryan Keller now up to a 17 lap 501 pace, almost on an 18 lap run with his two wheel drive. Then Kevin Gatton almost on a 17 run with his two wheel drive. Watching the switchback area, it is clear. There goes our leader across the start finish line. This fast lap of 17-1. He's got that Yokomo hooked up. He's on a 19-504 pace right now. Very fast pace for this four-wheel drive. First night on a new layout. Two and a half down, two and a half. Oh, he made a little bit of a mistake going into the double-double. But Ryan's about seven and a half seconds back. It's going to go down to about five seconds after this lap. Two and a half down, two and a half to go. We have Aaron Brown out front on a 19, 516 pace, followed by Ryan Prince, who just passed the start finish line. It is down to about five seconds. He's going to be trying to catch that Yokomo ride of Aaron Brown. Ryan Caller leading out the two-wheel drive mod class. He's on a 17-510 pace, followed by Kevin Gatton in a 15-502. Here comes our leader down the straightaway into the tabletop left. area. Through the triple, nice and, oh, made a mistake going off the triple. Caution after the triple. The lead is now down to about a second. It's about point. Eight and nine seconds. Aaron Brown in the Yokomo ahead of Ryan Prince in the Associated. We got Kevin Sathry sand sandwiched between them in the TLR ride. Just went big triple. 
Aaron rolling it over, going into the over the crossover. Now into the double double. Their nose to tail. Ryan Prince all over his back door. Ryan is the prince of four wheel drive on Wednesday nights. He wants to keep that. There's the pass. Oh, they were side by side. They both are together now. Ryan comes out ahead. 18, 5, 17. Aaron right behind him with 0.4 seconds back is on a 17, 5 flat. There's one, one minute left. left, guys. One minute left. Ryan Caller is leading out the two wheel drive on a 17, 5, 11 pace. But Aaron Brown takes the lead back. He's got a .12 lead. Now, now Ryan Prince takes the lead back. Aaron looking to the inside. Ryan leading through the triple back to the start. Aaron makes a little bit of a mistake. 30 seconds left. Ryan, the prince of four-wheel drive, takes it over the double, leading out onto the straightaway. Aaron catches the pipe. The lead's going to be a little bit longer. We got 20 seconds left. 20 seconds, guys. This might be our last lap. Once you pass start finish, Ryan heading into the crossover. Aaron right behind him into the crossover. The lead is now two seconds. Ryan getting a little squirrely coming onto the straightaway. Aaron right behind him. F less than five. Less than five. Ryan catching you at the line. Ryan, you're done. 17 5 flat. Aaron comes in second with a 17 502. We're waiting on three, guys. Waiting on three. There comes Ryan Caller winning the two-wheel drive race. He's got 17, 5, 13. Then Kevin Sathry and Kevin Gatton. That is a race, guys. That is a race. Thank you to all my volunteer marshals for jumping out there and helping us out. I appreciate it. Helps us get out of here a little bit completed. quicker. Thank you all for coming out. Hopefully we'll see you this Saturday. If not, maybe next Wednesday.